With each of these solo songs in the anime being shown, it's time for us to evaluate which solo songs we felt did the best. Now I am making the assumption that there is no more solo songs in the first season of the anime, so likely we're not going to see you or Shiriko, but we do have 9, one for each of the main girls so far, so let's go forward with that assumption. These are the 9 solo songs that we have so far, and we're going to look at these songs. Now some of these songs have the full versions released, while others requires us to wait just a bit longer to have those, so we'll just be looking at the TV size versions of the songs. We had had more time to digest the older songs, so I may redo my rankings once all the full versions of the songs have been released for a while, but in this video I'll be looking at the 9 solo songs that are new to the franchise. Star Chase, you'll be excluded. I'll be focusing on the song itself, but I will also look at the visuals, as for me myself, I'll just mostly be using it as a tiebreaker and not necessarily a reason why I should pick a song way over the other one. I'm more focused on the actual song itself. You may feel different about that, so you can go ahead and vote in which way you feel is more important, but for me personally, I'll just be focusing on the song itself. We got so many unique and very well done songs here, and I'm just very happy to be able to see that we have a lot of great content that came from Love Live with the introduction of this anime. These new girls have brought a lot of unique elements and their personality shines through each song. So I'm just really happy to have all of these here. But of course, I can't necessarily see everyone being my favorite song because that's not how favoritism works. So we're going to go ahead and go over my rankings for each of these songs 1 through 9 with 1 being my favorite. But before we can go over the rankings, let's get a 20 second preview of each song so we know what each song is like before we go to the actual rankings. So let's hit the previews.
So that was just a little preview of the 9 songs in the anime. Now of course this is not including Chase and of course not all these songs have a full version available. So when I'm going to go over my rankings for this, just keep it in mind, these are not official final end all be all rankings for these as I do have a little bit more to look for over for the first 6 songs but the last 3 I do not. So also I haven't really listened to these songs like for that long because it, some of these have only been out for a little over a month so yes these are likely changed but as of right now we're gonna go over my current feelings for each song mainly focusing on the audio and with some consideration of the video so let's start with what I think is the worst out of the nine. So in ninth place I have Psycho Hot by Ayami Ishita. This song honestly can't really get too much behind this. It's fun and all like many of her other songs, but I don't really find any part of the song where I find myself vibing to it that much. The song can be fun, but I don't really find the song that entertaining. Visually, yeah, it looks nice, but that's true for all the songs, so that doesn't really mean much. And there's nothing that's like very, anything visually special about the MV as well. It's just kind of a grass field, a few cardboard cutouts, and yep, that's the stage. It feels like another U and I song, and yeah, that kind of goes with her style, and that's more of what he, her recent songs have been. But I definitely like the Metro Going kind of style of I, and not, I guess, every other song style that she's done. And then, you know, it's fine, a lot of people do like having those kind of songs for I, and it's good for cheering people up. And that's great to have, and I know some people have told me they've had a bad day, but listening to this song has really cheered them up, so that's really good for that, that to be able to do that. But for me, I just don't really enjoy that much listening to this song. For me, it's currently the worst one out there so far, and I'm not saying it's a bad song, but it's definitely my least favorite. For 8th place, I end up putting Dive by Setsuna Yuki. So I honestly feel kind of weird putting this one in 8th because I don't think it's that bad of a song and putting it in 8th just makes it feel like I'm kind of bashing it. Which honestly, I'm not. But I guess I'm not like in crazy love with the song and just a bunch of other songs feel like they're songs that I would probably want to listen to more. But again, this goes to the fact that a lot of these songs are still kind of newish so I'm not fully sure about my feelings about these songs yet. So keep it in mind, especially with like 8th through... 6-ish, I'm really unsure at the moment, so those could definitely change in the future. This song, of course, has that classic rock punk style that we know sets enough for. Solid song, and honestly, the vocals are solid as normal. Thing is, it just doesn't really feel like a new image or experience from Setsuna. It is definitely a song I can get behind, but there are songs that I enjoy more than this, and this just doesn't feel like something that's very unique, at least from my point of view. The stage is alright I guess. I wish the stage had a little bit more things there to make it more eventful or fun to look at. But it's fine and you know for effects they have fire but you know I guess that's all they really have though which isn't exactly that very exciting. I like to see that we get to see sets and literally dive but we don't get to see her do that too much in this MV here. It's a shame because I do think that part was really well animated and it looks really clean but I was hoping to see a little bit more than that. Otherwise, it's mostly just her dancing, and I guess that's okay. Again, this is a pretty decent song, but the songs above it, I just feel like I want to listen to them more. And I kind of felt like I couldn't rate this one higher, which I find so weird and odd. Next up, I have La Bella Patria by Emma Verde. Overall, a pretty good song. I gave this a little edge over Setsuna's because I think it's the stage is a little bit more interesting and I feel the song is a little bit more unique, so I gave it the edge over Dive. The guitars in the beginning do feel a bit out of place, but I wouldn't say it's necessarily bad. It just feels a little too different from the rest of the song. The start of the song is still nice and all, but again, I feel like it could have been more like the rest of the song and make it feel more cohesive and yes overall the whole song is very naturey which is emma like and i do appreciate that 
And I also do think the instrumentals are pretty good and they build a great atmosphere that really matches Emma's style. Of course, Emma shows her wonderful vocals again. I love the plethora of flowers in the flower field and the mountains look so gorgeous. I think it's a great touch and it's very unique to Emma. I think the stage is very pretty and it's a really great element of the MV. The song is overall pretty good. It's not my favorite from Emma, but I do think it's a worthwhile listen. <laughs> In 6th place, I have Solitude Rain by Shizuko Osaka. So overall, this song is actually pretty good. The song does have that kind of anime ending feeling of, you know, you will find in dramatic animes. And that absolutely does fit Shizuko's image. Of course, it's very solid. I love the energy and Shizuko's passion and how you can feel her struggles over the episode through this song. I also like how it's raining, which obviously ties in the fact that Shizuko means droplet. The rain and the animation in general are just really solid in it, this MV and I think it's really spectacular. And the scene where she's walking alone in the rain, it just looks so elegant for some reason. Overall, I do think the animation this is really really good and the song is also a very solid song. Again, this is not my favorite Chizuku song out here and obviously I have songs that are rated higher than this. But overall, I do think this is a really good experience overall and I think this is definitely a great song to have. In 5th place, I have Vivid World by Karanasaka. And while this is actually a pretty decent song, initially I wasn't super sold on it, but after listening a few times, I actually come to like this one a bit more. This is a good song by her, and it definitely has that kind of pop style that really does appeal to her style, and of course the chorus is catchy as usual. I find it very danceable and has a good tempo that I do enjoy. Visually, I think it's probably one of the best ones out there, maybe not necessarily the verses but man it, it's like a light show when it goes on the chorus and it just overwhelms you with so many visual effects here so by that alone i had to give it some merit for that so overall i think it's a good song and the mv itself just only adds to the experience in fourth place i put popping up by kasumi nakasu so i'm not Highly sure why, but I do find the song pretty catchy, and this is probably something I will have to re-rate, especially when all the other songs got full versions, but this one definitely has a full version, so I kind of give it a little of a bump almost. It's full of that Kasumi spunk without getting too overwhelming, it's cute and lively, with the fun that Kasumi brings. I was surprised that I rated this one this high, but I guess I do enjoy it. The stage is filled with sweets, and we know Kasumi likes making bread in our sweets, so it's definitely very fitting for her. And I do like the lot of camera movement and all these special effects that they put in with this MV. It's colorful and vivid and it dances energetic. And I like how the sweets pop in around when Kasumi dances, which kind of fits with the name of the song. So overall, I kind of like this one to be completely honest. In third place, we have Sunagao Connect by Rina Tenoji. So this is another Rina song that has that technology feel with the synthesizers and of course I'm going to appreciate that. I love video game music and this harkens me back to that so if you're that kind of person you'll tend to like this. So this is definitely more of a personal preference for me so some might just not really care for this song. But I personally really do like it and I've been enjoying Anna Heart by her more but I still think this is a very good song by her. The stage also really builds up that style of the song and I really like the lighting effects used throughout the stage. It's not boring and it's not being very static. The stage also having a cat dancing in the background was also very fun to see. So overall, I really do like this song and the MV of course built on that. In second place, I have Dream With You by Ayumu Uehara. And for whatever reason, this song has just really, really vibed with me. This song has really impressed me and I have really grown to really like it. It feels very different from that kind of happy feeling you get from Ayumu who's always talking about taking step by step and trying to be the best idol that she can be. This one feels a bit more intense or deep, but it still somewhat feels very fitting for her. It's very passionate, it has a very powerful melody. It gives the message of her struggle of wanting to become a school idol and puts it eloquently in a song. 
The MV also does a great job of balancing the dance and scenes, which help depict Ayumi's path to becoming an idol. I'm very pleased with how this came out, and this song has just been something that I've been listening to a lot. And for first place, for my favorite anime song from the first season of the anime, it's definitely gotta be Butterfly by Kanata Kanoe, and it wins by a decent amount. Dream With You did contend though, but I still gotta give it to Butterfly. Butterfly is just a great song, and goodness, Kanata did a wonderful job here. For once, she got away from that kind of sleepy nature in her songs, and wow, is the payoff great here. The voice, the vocals, just so good. The instrumentals aren't intrusive, and they build up a very catchy experience. In fact, this doesn't even feel like a love life song at all. So this was definitely a great surprise to have. Visually, I wouldn't say it's that impressive, probably one of the less impressive ones out there, but the MV has so much charm and it's more about the scene selections and what the story tells that really shows the true worth of it. And then it's just so well done, it kind of makes you feel like it's kind of like one of those ending songs in an anime for kind of more of a dramatic anime and it does it so well. From scene to scene it's wonderful and it just captures the whole essence of what the song is trying to be here and I just love it so much for that. You can see what the song is trying to tell and what it's trying to convey without needing the audio. Overall, this is just another masterpiece by Kanata. So those are my rankings for the anime solo songs from Nijugaku in the first season of the anime, minus Chase and assuming there isn't more songs coming in the first season as a surprise. So of course, these are likely to change especially as full versions come out and I'm sure plenty of you are looking at this rankings and like, well that's stupid, how could that song be the worst? Well that's just my personal feelings, so of course as always I create a poll where you guys can go ahead and rank your songs. So you can rate it the way you want it. And let me know and then I'll accumulate all the results in the end, rank from 1 through 9, 1 being your favorite, 9 being your least favorite, and of course I have a bunch of references if you want to look at the official video on YouTube and listen to the song yourself. So let me know which song is your favorite and if that's just from audio or if it's from visual because we do get to look at both for all these songs. So let me know what you think had the coolest effects, what was the most fun to watch, and what's the most fun to listen to, what song did you like the most, and why? Was it because it was a unique experience or just because the dance looks really fun or you just like the way the song sounds? Let me know that in the comments below and if any of these girls surprised you with their new songs, maybe made you like a certain girl more. Let me know all about that in the comments below and go ahead and vote in the poll and there will be a link in the description and if you like voting in these kind of polls, there is another link in the description where you can find a bunch of other polls like this. Thank you guys for watching and hope to catch you guys in another video soon.